This channel is more on educational and entertainment. Before we start, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more video updates. Our topic for today is all about the structural characteristics of carbon. The atomic number of carbon is 6, which represent the number of electrons. It is represented by the symbol C and it is a nonmetal. It has 6 protons, 6 neurons and 6 electrons. A carbon atom is special and unique because it can move with other carbon atoms to an almost unlimited degree. It is because its atom is very small in size and can conveniently fit in as a part of larger molecules. Carbon, the sixth most abundant element in the universe, has been known since ancient times. Carbon is most obtained from coal deposits, although it usually must be processed into form suitable for commercial use. Three naturally occurring allotropes of carbon are known to exist these are amorphous, graphite, and diamond. Amorphous carbon is formed when a material containing carbon is burned without oxygen for it to burn completely. This black suit, also known as lamp black, gas black, channel black, or carbon black, is used to make inks, paints, and rubber products. It can also be pressed into shapes and be used to form the core of most dry cell batteries, among other things. Graphite, one of the softest material known, is a form of carbon that is primarily used as lubricant. Although it does occur naturally, most commercial graphite is produced by Tritum Petroleum Co. A black tar residue remaining after the refinement of crude oil in an oxygen-free oven. Naturally occurring graphite occurs in two forms alpha and beta. These two forms have identical physical properties but different crystal structures. All artificially produced graphite is of the alpha type. In addition to its use as lubricant, graphite in a form known as coke is used in large amount in the production of steel. Coke is made by made heating soft coal in an oven without allowing oxygen to mix with. Although commonly called lead, the black material used in pencil is actually graphite. Diamond, the third naturally occurring form of carbon, is one of the hardest substances known. Although naturally occurring diamond is typically used for jewelry, most commercial quality diamonds are artificially produced. These small diamonds are made by squeezing graphite under high temperature and pressures for several days. Or wicks and are primarily used to make things like diamond picked saw blades. Although they possess very different physical properties, graphite and diamonds differ only in their crystal structure. I carbon is cool. Carbon is so important because its atomic structure gives it bonding properties that are unique among elements. Each carbon molecule has four unpaired electrons in its outer energy shell. Therefore, carbon atoms can form covalent bonds with up to four other atoms, including other carbon atoms. Carbon-based molecules have three fundamental structures. We have straight chains, branch chain, and rings. Carbon has a few unique binding properties the most important of which is its ability to form long chains of carbon. No other elements can do this. Silicon can theoretically do this, but silicon oxygen bond are so strong that silicon would much prefer to make silicon to oxygen to silicon bond than silicon to silicon bonds. The reason carbon can do this is that carbon to carbon bonds are extremely strong. This allows carbon to make up many of the basic building blocks of life. Also, because carbon makes four bonds, it can exist in many different forms called isomers. No other element naturally does as much as carbon. Bonding with carbon with itself. Allotropy is a behavior exhibited by certain chemical elements. These elements can exist in two or more different forms known as allotropes of that elements. When an element exists in more than one crystalline form, those forms are called allotropes. In each different allotrope, the element's atom are bonded together in a different manner. Allotropes are different structural modification of an element. Carbon is an element that exhibited allotropy. Examples of carbon allotropes are the following. Diamond, graphite, lance the lake, buckyballs, amorphous carbon, 
End carbon nanotope. Lewis dot structure. The carbon atom has six electrons, of which four are available for bonding. The rich electronic stability carbon atoms must share four electrons from other atoms. The gaining or losing of four electrons requires too much energy in such a small atom. Carbon, therefore, form four or two electron bonds to other atoms, which may be single, double, or triple. The table shows the illustration of how the shape of the molecules changes as additional CH2 subunits are added. Versus losing a pair of hydrogen each time an additional carbon-to-carbon -carbon bond is added to form double or triple bonds. Carbon chains form the skeleton of most molecules. Carbon chains also vary in length and shape. The following are the examples of carbon chains in different orientation. We have length, double bond position, branching chain, and ring chain. Let's do the activity. But before we continue, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Learning task number 1. Determine what kind of carbon allotropes are given pictures based on different structural modification. Learning task number 2. Draw the shape of the three fundamental structure of carbon-based molecules. Then, draw one thing that resembles the said structures that you commonly see in your daily activity. Answer. Straight chain we have chain. Branch chain we have Christmas decor. Ring chain we have necklace. Learning task number 3. Given the value of and write the name and molecular formulas of straight chain alkanes. That ends our lesson for today. Please subscribe to my channel for more video updates.